Tonight we are learning more about plans for our memorial services for the five victims killed in the Club Q shooting in Colorado Springs. One service is this Saturday for Raymond Green Vance. His funeral will be private. The public is invited to a dev release and candlelight vigil from 6 to 8 at Swan Lake Funeral Directors. Today, Governor Polis meeting with survivors and first responders from the shooting in Colorado Springs. Olivia Young was also there as the governor visited. Olivia, the governor we hear is still there tonight. That's right, Karen. Governor Polis is in Colorado Springs for the first time since the Club Q shooting. Today, he met with the sister of victim Kelly Loving. Then he stopped by Club Q to make a contribution of his own to this memorial. I drew a heart and I, I wrote, uh, we remember. And I think that first and foremost, we remember the five lives we lost. I've talked to family members uh, of the five. We also remember those who were injured some of whom might never be able to uh, regain uh, their full uh, uh, functionality that they had. And of course, all of those who are traumatized. Following his stop at Club Q, Polis visited Atravita Beer Company, which is owned by one of the people who helped take down the shooter. Now, Polis is encouraging those who want to help victims to donate to the Colorado Healing Fund. This despite some recent controversy about the efficacy of that fund in providing victims with compensation. Now, Polis also addressed potential changes to Colorado's red flag gun law. We'll discuss those coming up at 6. In Colorado Springs, I'm Olivia Young, covering Colorado First.